Okay, I think we can get this to work. Five damage. Good, good, good. Other one. Eight damage. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Lock that in. Okay, now, I have never actually tried this before, so I don't know if it's going to work, but... See, Goku's battle power right there is 500, and his HP is 2. And we're going to see if this works. It does! Yes! Oh, that's what happens. Seriously, that's all that happens? He just le he, d he doesn't gain battle power, he just levels up? Uh, I'm just going to check something really quickly. Okay, you know what? We showed that off. But we don't actually need it. We really are going to need that Kami card later, so... It's been shown off. Goku le oh, any Saiyan actually levels up when they're when they completely heal after being near death. I know it's a bit of an anticlimax to save state back or load state back to before that, but my god, that's that's not worth the card right now. And you'll see why. Goku's level is basically basically doesn't mean a thing. Because he's out of the game half the time. And as a result, whenever he comes back, he's basically at a set level to begin with, so... And we're blowing a heck of a lot of time on this, so... There we go. Now... We do not need Bulmas, and you can only hold three pages worth of items anyway, so... Yeah, we're not... we don't really have that much space left. This could be a trap. But it's not, that's good. Out of the way. Renzuka energy done. Okay. Okay, my God. Incidentally, yeah, just in case you fell asleep, we still haven't fought Raditz yet. Yeah, so like, thing that happens in episode 2 or 3 or wherever, we haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's something, isn't it? But here he is. In all his low-res glory, he doesn't actually, we're not going to fight him just yet though, because we are going to do one little dickish thing about JRPGs, just for a second. That was not the guy to attack, whatever. Not the worst thing we could have done either. We should be close. We should be really, really close, actually. I don't know why we haven't done it yet. 24, 34. Okay. Let me assure you, we cannot beat Raditz at our current level. So that's why I'm doing this. Fourteen. So Goku has ten left. 
The Piccolo has 20. Which means Goku's going to level up after this fight, and Piccolo is not. Yep. By the way, if you've noticed that Raditz is in a cave, and they didn't fight him in a cave, you're perceptive. I'm not going to tell you what that means, although there's a chance you might already know. I don't know. But yeah. Um, I really have nothing to say after that without spoiling something, but how is this an easy win? Uh, we're not going to make Goku do that because he's not going to get his energy back anytime soon. But Piccolo will. So we can actually screw with his energy. And that guy's dead. Very, very dead. There we go. And we got a Kami card anyway, so it didn't really matter. Good things. Um, we don't really need Bulma cards very much, so we can use that there. Save state, and... We're gonna fight Raditz now. You? Why are you here? I should be asking you that. Don't tell me you think you can beat me because it's two on one. You better shut up. The outcome of this fight doesn't depend on strength alone. You say it like you know my power. You came here with such pathetic, pathetic, whatever, power levels and you think you can beat me? I swear to God, I actually do have a Raditz voice, but I can't really get my throat into it at the volume I'm talking. I should probably be talking louder anyway, but whatever. Alright, um... Right from the beginning, this Raditz, firstly I'm gonna tell you, just so you know, Battle Power 800, if I recall correctly. In case you haven't figured it out yet, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This isn't Raditz! This is not the real Raditz! And he's gonna dodge that shit like he always would. There's a chance this one might hit. Yeah, that had to sting. Kind of did. Oh, that actually did. Pretty nice damage to him. Good things. <laughs> that was extraordinarily painful. Okay, let's, um... We can use another Kamehameha. Good things. I don't know if it's actually programmed in the game or what, but I assure you, Special Beam Cannon will basically never hit him. Kamehameha seems to every so often, but I have tried to hit him with Special Beam Cannon so many times, and it's never... Wow, that was actually really easy. Normally, this is actually a really hard fight. But when your energy attacks actually hit him, I guess it makes a difference. Huh? He changed. What is this? That thing was a fake. Damn! If the fake is that strong, what's going to happen to us when we fight the real one? Shit! Hold on, go on! I'm coming to save you! Goku yelling shit, that's just surreal, honestly. And one more random encounter. We couldn't possibly get away without that, could we? That's kind of another thing. I don't know the difference between the black and the blue cards. Or if there even is one. Okay. Oh my god, for the love of Christ. Actually, this is a really good chance to demonstrate the flea. Uh, pay attention to all the numbers on the cards. 
just in case it doesn't work. You're unable to run away. Now if you actually did pay attention, all the numbers on the cards go down by one. So you're at a you're in a worse position if you try to flee. And worse. Eventually you can manage to run, but if all your cards are 1-1, one, one, you can't try to run anymore. But now we gave ourselves a bunch of really, really horrible cards, so we're just gonna fight one more random encounter and use them up. Otherwise we're gonna be in trouble when we fight the real Raditz. These are blue guys, they shouldn't kill us even if we're using 1-1s. One, other cards. There's really no problem with that because they're uh, there's no multiple enemies to actually fight with it. 